Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is March 20th, 2017, and this is our episode number 109. Today we're looking at metal frio. Metal frio. What is metal frio, by the way? You know, you have a feeling you know what it is. Uh, in this case, um, it makes fridges. Metal frio literally means cold metal and yep makes fridges <clears throat> I don't know what else it makes but yeah fridges there and here's the I, I googled for uh, investor relations and just landed on this one with the DFP for 2016 so with the yearly financial reports <coughs> And here it is. So this seems to be an industrial company. Uh, any industrial company can be looked at through the point of view of debt to equity. So you take a look at how much the company owes. You take a look at how much the company owns. And that ratio will give you a good initial uh, picture of the financial health of this company and to give you some parameters for what constitutes good we look for companies with debt to equities of between 0 and 0 0.5 another detail that's that I made more consistently consistent only in recent episodes is to scroll all the way down to the consolidated financial statements if they're uh, if they exist and so we look at the passivo the liabilities here so I'm going to go to page 15 and it's actually page yeah 16 Okay, so to find the net equity, you look for patrimonio liquido, and in this case, we're talking about 122 million. So it's pretty uh, striking to see the variations here. So 180 to 37 to 122. A lot of variation there, but okay. So here we have 122 for net equity. And then we can look at total liabilities, which will be a, a simple sum of the circulating liabilities and the non-circulating liabilities. So it's the calculator here, bring it to this monitor. We're talking about 516. plus 460.976. So as you can see here, it will be quite a striking liabilities to equity, quite a high ratio there, which is not good. Great, so what about debt? So we go here, and we look at lines such as this, empréstimos, which means loans, e financiamentos, which means and financing. So we have here 284 million current to pay. And here you have another 441, so 725. So debt to equity is six it's a terribly high number liabilities to equity it's eight uh, which is also very very high and very discouraging from uh, an investing standpoint since this is a full year uh, report 
we're just going to fill out more things here. This pretty much, for me at least, rules out an investment in this company. Unless I was going down the path of special situations and going to see, you know, uh, it can be any kind of thing, you know, can be, you, you look at the price of the stock and it's incredibly depressed and you look at the assets and you look at the liquidation value and you come to the conclusion that even though this company is in terrible shape, uh, the networking capital is, you know, it's possible, you know, to find an angle to a company that looks like this from a debt standpoint, debt to equity, debt to liabilities. But I'm certainly not that, that man. So um, we look at current assets, uh, sorry, the current ratio, which will be the current assets divided by the current liabilities. <laughs> so here we have 703 divided by 516. So 1.36. So great uh, investors uh, will try to use uh, a minimum current ratio of 1.5, meaning that the company will have 1.5 times the necessary money uh, to pay out its, uh, its obligations within the next 12 months. Uh, and so 1.5 times gives you a, mar a certain margin of safety, right, for the unforeseen. Uh, and metal frio again is below not so much is not so dangerous as looking at a debt to equity of six but still not encouraging by any means so let's look at the earnings so the earnings here was stated as 31 million positive a hard not to notice a negative 110 and a negative 70. Which, by the way, I'm going to add here since we're, you know, it, since we're here, oops, insert below. So, let me just make sure I have the right numbers. Minus 101, minus, oops, sorry. Minus 101, uh, I see. Yeah, the consolidated, I'm using this one. Minus 101, minus 66. Six. Thing though is, you know, the controlling company, so. It may be more correct to actually use this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using this one. 14, mi 15 minus 110 minus 7. Uh, and f as far as looking at the balance sheets, I'm looking at the free cash flow now. So we have operating cash flow of 95 and we subtract the investing cash flow. Uh, so 90 five minus one to one so it's minus 26 free cash flow so negative here is pretty bad never good so yeah this is it just going to add one more row here just to add the, the current market cap here um, I'm not going to go and get the P10 in this case, but I'm just jotting down the market cap for 
Me está frío. Apparently is 132 million. So, yeah, I mean, it's a company that lost more than its market cap, actually by a lot over the last three years. Uh, and the market cap's just above its current net equity here. So, yeah, there's not, nothing, you know, I, I, don't, I can't find something powerful to, to end this episode with. Uh, we looked at Metal Frio. It does not look like a very uh, good company to invest in uh, in the long term. Uh, since we pretty much focus on going on looking for companies to go long on, not short, uh, we leave it at that for Metal Frio. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched the other episodes, we have 108 more with uh, many different sorts of uh, Brazilian traded companies, uh, United uh, American traded companies. And also, I will see you in future episodes as well. I pretty much make one per weekday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.